Hello there, and uh, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever you are. So we keep working with the string lines, and uh, hopefully this will be the last video with this geometry using string lines. But if you have questions, doubts, just comment section, ask, or send us an email, and if we have an answer, well. We, we we will prepare the video well any case what i want to show you in this video a very easy technique now to animate a static string line so remember a static field previous video we show you how to animate this and here you have the pipeline so you see it's quite complex a lot of stuff that you need to move here in the time manager and there is a way to do this a much much easier way to do this using a plugin and i'm going to show you probably you don't know how to load those plugins and i'm going to show you so let me close there and if you go here tools see that you have manage plugins and here you have a lot of plugins so look at the internet because many of these plugins are super super useful the one that we're going to use okay it is this one here, a streamlines representation. So see here that you have this one that also seems to be very interesting, it's streaming particles. So later we're going to see, but look at that, you have a lot of stuff here. So select it here, load, select it, and that's it. You load it, and at this point, this is going to show you inside the domain the representation of the streamlines. So I will access this fill here the internal mesh and this is very easy if you go here you see that now you might see string lines representation let's see i don't see it there okay let me go manage plugin some um, string line representation yeah i load that so let me erase usually as well you need to get that working okay you need to raise okay let me raise everything let me reload the case apply and there you go you have it okay so user is you you load the case you need to uh unload the case load again and then you're going to have this representation here this is turn lines so basically this one works in this way so let me start here the internal mesh okay and I want to release you no know, those string lines or to see those string lines there so as you select this you should see the strain lines, but be careful that as you go here down and remember always advanced auction there. Uh, somewhere here, you will get access to the specific auctions of these strain lines. So see that you have wall shear stress and let me show you something cool. Uh, let me put this one, let me select that. I will select the pie where I have the wall shear stress field. Okay, and if I select this one, see that you have there so this is what we want to be to see so these are the string lines of the wall shear stress at the wall okay super cool and you can color that by velocity which will be zero obviously but you have grading and you can see the, grade, the velocity grading so this is at the wall we want to see that internal so this is that plugin very powerful again you need good gpus and you have all the options here string lines so just the tooltip hover on and you will get you now some message and there how to control that but i want those string lines i want those string lines inside the domain so you select the ball in internal mesh select velocity and there you go so this is the easiest way to animate the static field the static string line so super easy to use what i don't like that every time you rotate it no it it, it reloads and here well as you can imagine there you can choose the change the color and put it there let me change velocity range here you have many options now self-explanatory you know step lens number of particles you no know, 
So a lot of particles will require a lot of resources here, 100 particles, so it's much, much faster. Very nice, now I really like this. And uh, like previously, let's see, uh, yeah, here now it doesn't work. The, the tra ray tracing doesn't work, but you can change, for instance, uh, you can change the line width there, so you can put it like this, okay, and they are thicker and you can see better so very nice representation of much much easier now than the previous pipeline we we we, we use so let me put here 200 and there you go so sometimes you can have that those black lines so probably you change and you come back there and i don't know sometimes it happens and there you go, just change the fill and that's it, okay? Uh, this also can be safe. You can save this animation in the same way that we did previously. And uh, let me extract here now to put here the pie wall. You put your, ah, I already have the wall here, actually. I forgot. Uh, and let me add some transparency there. Opacity, 0 0.2, my wall. And there you go. Okay, the easy way to do that. So you have this filter comes with open phone. Okay, with part of you, sorry, already you have it there. You just need to load. And to show you here that you have here now these links in the video description, you have now this, what it's doing now. So it was released and well, there you go. So what you can do, so an explanation and whatever. And here also the link now to the source code with some you know, description and some limitations and so on. So that's it. Okay, hope you like this video. With this, I have to say that we are done now with the streamlines in the pipe. Now let's move to, to some more complicated uh, workflows. We're still we're going to do some cool stuff with these streamlines now to show you curve vectors and so on, but we move to some other uh, videos. So thank you for your attention. How you like it? If you have comment, questions, just uh, you have there the section, so put it there or send us an email. So I'll see you next time. Bye.